Ashley Ridge at Stratford Knight still looking for their first win of the season. It's a slow start for both teams in this one. Nobody making it too far down the field, but it's Stratford's quarterback, Hunter Taylor. He goes all the way down to Ryan Roberts. A few plays there, takes it back, and he's going to drop back and find Ryan in the end zone. How about that? Or not in the end zone. Check this out. Now he's in the end zone. Ooh. He actually bobbled that one. Talk about hand and eye coordination that one. Loses the ball, but gets in for the first touchdown of the game in that one. And Stratford would go on to make that one 7-0, but Stratford would go on to win their first game 14-7 against Ashley Ridge, their first win of the season. Hmm, that's a big one. Well, welcome back, guys, to the Blitz. Last night, the Berkeley Stacks knocked off the stall 69-7. Not the stall. Knocked off stall. The stall. <laughs> off the stall. <laughs> I don't think you can come back from that one. I can't. I can't. We're just going to move on. <laughs> they can lock up region championship with the win at Buford next week. Yeah, Randy Robinson is his first year. It's certainly surprising to see what he's done there. I'll tell you what else is surprising. Cathedral Academy's ascent to the summit of Skiza eight-man football. They won all of two games last year. Tommy Wade, another first-year head coach there, the top seed in the Division I eight-man Skiza playoffs, hosting Curtis Baptist out of Augusta. Top of the second quarter is where we pick it up. Cathedral already on top. 48 to 6, Jalen Ladson pitching to Chandler Mahaffey. You see what he does with it. He's toting it all the way for six. How about that? It is 54 to 6, Cathedral on top. They are back on offense coming up. The snap, huh, not so, oh, let's say 60 to 6. All right, 60 to 6. The snap is not great, but Jalen Ladson gets it back and he's going to toss the ball to Chandler Mahaffey, who Going to take it in for another touchdown. I think y'all all know how this game ends. 68 to 6. The Generals keep their season alive. No, 76 to 6. The final score. They are moving on. More skis of playoff action here. Pinewood Prep taking on Lawrence Manning. Lawrence Manning wins 35 to 28. Game Bay looking to get that swagger back from their first loss in the season at Hilton Head tonight. Seahawks up 22 21 to start the second half. It was the R.J. Roderick show in the third quarter at the Junior QB. Fakes the handoff, runs it into the house for a 39-yard touchdown. Kane Bay up 28-22. to It's Kane Bay back on offense. Roderick breaking through the line for a long, long, long run. How far will he take it? He will take it all the way. Kane Bay would win this one, 42-36. St. John's has already locked up the 1A region. Six crowns, Military Mag and Baptist Hill playing for second place. First punt of the game, Richard Bailey takes it all the way to the one yard line. That's where he's stopping then. His teammate, Farrell Proctor Floyd, runs it in the next play, making six nothing in the red zone. Again, Corey Field finds Kevin Smalls in the corner for this touchdown in the end zone. The Military Mag will go on to defeat Baptist Hill, 34-30. Timberland win a re they can win a region title next weekend at Manning, but first they would have to get past Hanahan. The first play of the game, Victor Colbert, quick pass to Quincy Mitchell. Not much of a play there. Next play, Colbert on the keeper. A short game keeps the drive alive, and we're in the third down. Colbert is looking for Javante Grant, but it's broken up. Not too much offense going here. Jacquez Mitchell hands it off to Joseph Maltry for a short game. Later, Mitchell this time to Kevin Williams. He breaks two tackles. Not going good there. 7 0 at that point. Timberland are going to win 41 35. Close game. Bishop England on the road. They pick up the win 42 0 over Lake Marion. Here we go. Palmetto Christian on the road. Another big game for them. That's Niguez. He finds a wide open tumor. Tumor. He's all the way down to about the five yard line. Yeah, and this is Dylan Christian right here. It's 41 to 6. Looks like. They are going to win this game big time. Here's your final score, 62 to 19 over PCA. We still have plenty more blitz on two still to come. Talking college football, Brandon. Oh, yeah, CSU in the Citadel. That's right. Got a dogfight coming down. Town tomorrow at the Dell. We're going to talk about this game and some others coming up.